Right, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to start the science project. Now, I have to say, I do have the little girly bedroom to finish, but it's basically only painting the outside and that. Or I might cover it with uh, fabric. But again, it's part. this one is part of the coaster set. Um, set. Now, <coughs> I'm not going to do a round one, so that can go by the by. But I'm going to do a double uh, science lab because I want it that width. So it's still a mini, mini. Uh, and so these will have to be put together. And in order to do that, I have some board that I'm going to fit it on. Now I'll share this with you in a minute. So what I've got to do is just to attach these two together. And they have to sit flush. When I mean flush, top and bottom need to be exact here. Like that. And I'm going to mark it this side, of course, and that side. Remove my max, I don't want to cut into that. And just use my ruler. To do this. Now, I thought about it last night and I was drawing little diagram things of what I... Oh, God, that didn't cut straight. I can't. I'm at wrong angle here. That's better. Yeah. Um, now, what's the matter with this? Oh, come off. Sorry, I just didn't get that right at all. Yeah, I was thinking about um, what I wanted it to look like. And I'm thinking, do I want a modern day one? No. Do I want one a little bit grunged up? Yes, probably. I like doing a bit of grunging. And so that's what we're going to try and achieve today. So I'll move that out of the way because I don't need that again. Not yet. Um, line these two up when you're using a ruler and a sharp tool try and remember to cover the back of your ruler or buy one that's ready covered um, I need to actually score mine because it's worn and worn and worn that it's now almost too smooth and it keeps slipping but you can in fact I will do while I'm here I'm going to add to mine some, oh, let's have a look if that's long enough, I'm not sure if it is, some cork, because it's uh, like a non-slip, that will do, and I'm just going to glue this on actually, yeah, just glue some cork on, I'll trim it down to size, which is a, again a non-slip. They do wear eventually when you use them as much as I do. And I'm sure you lot do use yours a lot. Let me just move that out of the way. We'll trim this down. So that's just a little tip for you. Always use something that's uh, got a good grip and using a sharp knife sharp blade or whatever it is you've got and that should hold a little bit better for me <coughs> see not wrong with that and we should now be able to yeah, that's a better grip. Like that, fine. So now all I've got to do um, is to add these two boards, these two coasters.
I'm just going to put this one this end. Anything that's uh, loose, I can cut off. Overhanging. I just do it like that, so you've got a nice straight edge. Straight edge? Straight edge. Oh, don't run out of glue sticks when I really need you. Just do that. Jut them up against each other. Like that. And then I can cut any excess off. Um, which will be the corners, of course. There we go, we've got that, exactly what we need. Now all I've got to do is to um, add the cardboard. I use these sheets when I can. Uh, it's better to do it that way, I think, than that way, if I remember rightly. Yeah, um, because you can buy them in A3 sheets, and that's how I get mine. But I do use boxes and that to, to save buying if I can help it. So I just have to measure um, these out so it needs, obviously, that, that, and that. So it should be round about there. And any excess, I can cut off what I don't want. So I'm happy with that. Now, I don't need it too high. In fact, I would say that and then half of that again, which is there. Yeah. Might get a little bit higher. So I'm just going to mark that. And then measure that. <laughs> and we have to get this exact. Ish. 18 centimeters okay so do 18 centimeters I'm just marking mine off Oops. so we need to do it there and there Yeah, that's a good grip on that now. Yeah, so I don't need the top one. But I might need it to build furniture and that, so. So again, what I'm going to do with this one is to obviously stick that there oh i need it here first i hope you can see what i'm doing so i need it to about there and then that's that's gonna have to bend there like that and then hold over like that that's it and then all i've got to do is to put that in and glue it in let me just check that that to that yeah so I need to glue that there. And remember, the board's on the outside, the coasters are on the inside because I need to put a floor in. So I've done that to the edge. Like that. And then that gets brought round here. Right, 
bring that up sit that on I mean I should have my actual um, non-stick mat underneath but I didn't do that <laughs> I will do this time. It does help. So again, you'll be able to see what I'm doing this side. I just stretch it up, hug it around the corner, do it like that, and push that down. Try and get it that the glue, if any, which I've just wiped off, you can see it's on my fingers, is wiped clean from the um, before you put the decking in. So I'm going to use that cream card again to do the decking. Now let me just do that. And then what I can do, clean anything up from underneath, take my big scissors and I just, I just want to clip it, that's all. It will have a border, um, when I say a border I'm going to be putting something all the way around, now that's not quite straight see, that is. I'm not sure if I'm going to shape this yet, might do. And we're going to do the same with this one. There we go, that's exactly what I want. Now, what do we do about this top section? I'm going to cut it off about there, I think. It's too long, uh, too tall. Too tall. It's only a mini. Right, hang on. I'm just going to glue that. Might have the back wall taller. So I now need to do that. Away. Like that. Don't waste those bits, they always come in handy somewhere. Right, hang on. Just clear my space. So I've done that. Looks like that. I need to round that off. Well, I've got this tool. Um, it was a stamp and I found it. And the stamp was, I think it was a stamp and it was buggered. So I thought, you know what? It'll come in as a nice press or to flatten something down. It also comes in handy for doing something like this. Making sure that it fits there to there. See like that, and then we can take that off, round that off, and that'll do. Mm, needs flattening a bit. That's it. That'll do. I'm also going to do these corners as well. So I'm just going to measure it up to the corner, see? So when that, that side meets there and that side meets there, you're going to get a perfectly good corner. Rounded corner, should I say. And then that will put the shape of the science lab. 
and I'm using the scissors the opposite way to what I would normally because it's the curved. Clip. Done. So let's have a look, see what we're doing. So we've got that and I'm quite happy with that, I think. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is to put some paste on it and let that dry while I'm uh, waiting to do the next. Oh, I want to do the boards. Yes. Never mind. Wait a minute. Now, just let me see. I need to do. Um, oh, it's a thin board, though. Isn't it? And that stick. But we can use that, I suppose. No, no, I'm not going to. Right, just bear with me. The whiteboard, like that, because I can. I like using this. Now, what I need to do is to cut some strips. I'm going to do it that way. And. Now, do I want to cut them or I'm going to mark them? I might mark them actually. Yeah. Is that white? Yeah, that's big, plenty big enough. Okay, so I need to measure this. Um, and if I do it at. six centimeters i'm going to cut it at six centimeters like i say i plan it as i go along so sorry if i annoy anyone but i never know what i'm going to do ever i have a picture in my head and i've got to work out how to get that into fruition what you want to call it so i need Another one of those. You'll see what I'm doing. Right, just move that to one side a minute. Like that. Okay. Now what I've got to decide is how I'm going to do this. So, um, I need this in two halves there. Yes. So there's 21. So that's 10 and a quarter. So, and then these have to be randomly done. That's my scorer. So I'm going to use this. I don't always want them exact. That I scored that one. I'm going to score this one similar.
I'll be back when I've done this. Right, as you can see, I've now completed the wall um, that I want. And it's time to fit those in, but I want to do the floor as well. So I just have to get that piece of board. Right, okay, so let me just measure this roughly. So hopefully that will fit. Not wide enough. See if this piece will fit. I do it like that. That needs to go off like that. Let me just see. I might use a piece of foam on the ground. Right, let's just see if that fits. Yeah, that's better. And then just slightly round off the ends. Let's see if that's a better fit. Yes, that is a much better fit. Yeah, how much over? About a centimetre. Let's just see if we can get this right. Right, don't waste them bits. Yeah, that's a much tighter fit. That'll do. Great. But I just want to score them to make it look like the... Uh, or do I want to put the paste in? I'm going to put the paste in. So I'm just going to glue this in. Oh, come on, glue gun. Okay, just going to put that in, glue that down like that. It's going to have a front panel on like that. That's not long enough, but we will put one on. Um, so I need to put the wall in now. Now that is too long. And we need it to that. Okay, to there. That should slot in, that's that. And then we've got the two pieces for the sides, which slots in there like that, and then I can cut them off. Okay, right. They're going to get glued in straight away. I don't need to do anything with them. You know, I'm going to paint it all and do it all up as we go. So, let's get this right way around. And slot that in. There, push that down like that. Now, I've left a plain band on the bottom like a, like a skirting. which I'm happy with that. I'm not fussed at all. Okay, make sure we get the band on this side as well. Push that down into place. That's fine. And we do the same with this one. And you do have to make sure the bands are right. Push that down. That's fine. Let's stuck that down. Oops, never mind that, mate. Just rubs off. So, let's have a look at this.
just want to get that off because when it comes to doing the outside, although I can just spackle it with some paste. Okay, we don't waste them bits either. Don't waste anything, you might slot in somewhere. So we've got that. Now I need the paste. So I'm just going to move my bits out of the way. Get what I've got. And get the modelling paste. Now I'm going to use this. This is the, um, the light modelling paste and it's golden. And I just need... Wherever I put them, my spatulas. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Just going to use this. So, we take the spatula, press that on, up into the corner. into the floor, into the corners there. Ooh, had a fibre in it. This is a spackle paste uh, and it dries pretty quick. And I don't need much. Now, if you haven't got this, don't worry about it. Take some plain flour and water and a bit of glue. Squirt a glue in it, because the glue combines it. And make your own. The only problem you have is sometimes flour can go yellowish, but you can add a colour to it, so it doesn't matter. Now, let me take my hook again, my uh, uh, cable needle, and I'm just going to do some stonework in it. I do need my cloth and obviously I need some water. Okay, so it is going to be brown, like I say. you see the pattern come up that I've done and that's all hand done and don't worry about that being darker at the bottom at the moment I'm not worried about it so we're going over it this is just to 
basically give the um, thing a coat of paint. And all I've done is a little bit of, um, I think it's, what's it called? It's Daler and Round It's the Burnt Umber. Just put a bit in, but I'm only touching it with water. That's all. I love the way the stonework looks. Oh, look, I just put my... Oh, it's nearly dry, so... <laughs> dry pretty quick, does that. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got a bit of a wheeze, but I'm fine. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, okay. So first thing I want to do is I do a once attempt uh, if I've got a little glass vial which I'm going to look for Yeah Now let me just see this might involve a lot of waiting times see I've got things like this Now that that could make a lamp Yeah Lots, oh, there's, there's, that's what I'm after, that one. I knew I had one somewhere. And I'm hoping that my, um, they're not gonna, that's about right, isn't it, for this? So, if I make a funnel, so I've got one of those here, Fee. Wake up, lady. And let me just see about making a funnel. Now, let me just round that off. See, like that. And then cut that. So that would become a funnel now. That's not going to fit. But if I snip like that, then that should fit. I should be able to get that in that tube. And I need to get it level. in there like that see <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I need some glue now let me just see let me just see I've got this glue the triple thick I don't want the triple thick do I want the diamond glaze might do okay let me just see I don't know whether it's dried up. <laughs> uh, woo! Right, that'll do. So I've got a lot of things to work out. So I need some of that. I need some colours. Now, what I do have for the colours somewhere, where did I put them? At the side of me, silly old thing. Come on. I've got my um, the mica powders. I do need to find a reddish one. I've got this reddish one. 
Let me just pull that up. And you can tell they're not used yet. Some of them are. I might need to get a... I need a toothpick. There we go. Here's my little toothpick. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Add a little bit of mica powder. Because I know that's going to dry, you see. And it won't come out. Now, I'm also going to add a touch of water. It'll still work as glue, it'll just water it down. Right, okay. Then I have to take my normal pipette that I use and soak all of that up. Oops, and then we're going to drop that Stuck there somehow. Why won't it drop in? I'm gonna. It will go. I don't know. There's something stopping it. We've got that working in there, like that. And then, like I say, I'm just going to add a bit of glue to this. And then we're going to move that around in there. And let that set. So that it looks like it's doing it. See, like that. Put a bit more colour in. So we've got that so far. I can put that to one side. Um, and we're just going to do other colours for other things. Now I want this one in a, a green. So, I'm just going to make up these mixtures. I have to. To make them work. I need a base for that one. So, let me just make a base first. Oops, don't put that in there, mate. Just taking a piece of foam board. And slice that. And then what I'm going to do for that one is to cut out at the middle. It's got to have something to rest on. See? I'm going to do it a little bit more. Oops, cutting on my board. I don't want to do that. Like I say, and then this has to be glued into that. Everything 
that, um, oh hang on, a little bit more, I think. All these can be coloured later, at a later date. That's not a problem. That's it, like that. And then, let me see, we just need to colour some of this. As long as it's got glue in, it will set at some point. Just want that clean. What I'm going to do is just drop a little bit in if I can. And give it a good shake. So that's got some in. Now that will eventually set. might take a day or two but it will now what I've got to do with this is to wash this out if it's got glue in it you see and then you have to just cut them into little pieces. We're back to this. The floor's dry just about, so I'm going to go over that white. I'm going to get some. I need a paint mix. Got my little paint pots. I also get these back in. We used to sell these. Put a bit of white in, probably too much. Just get a bit of black. I've got some black mica powder and a dark bronzy colour. So I'm going to try these for a change. May work, may not. We shall see. Let's see what this one is. Right, again, let's get a, something to mix it with. <coughs> okay. No, I don't know what colour. It's like a brownie. I don't know. Oops. We shall see when it's mixed. Right, what I'm going to do is add a touch more. I don't know what colour it's supposed to be. Oh, like a gold. Hmm. We'll see what it's like when it goes on, though. Okay. Do that. 
take my brush what mop that up so I'm just dabbing it in for now and dabbing it uh, it's like uh, stippling basically stippling it Now the mica powder in it should, if I um, brush it using a brushing stroke, it should, you know, you be able to see the mica powder, the gold, the colour I'm on about. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it this way. I'm going to have to try and do the wall and I've thought about it and I'm going to do like a red brick or you think yeah I think I'm going to do like a red brick right so I've got a little bit of black I'm going to take well, you have to be careful with your brushes. You don't want to ruin a brush, do you? Because I'm using a bit of glue. So, um, I want mine. See if you're mixing the paint with the glue. Mix that first. Like that. And then I'm going to take a hint of black to darken it. Like that, and it's got that dark colour. So I'm just going to paint over that. Yeah, well, I've got that dark colour all right. Now don't forget, you can have these any how you like. It's nobody's project but yours and you don't... F please, please, put your own spin on it. Don't do what everybody else does. Do your own. If you like it, do it. Now this will, of course, dry slightly different. A nice dark wall so things will stand out from it like a rich rich red really blood red about that bit because it's getting covered yeah never understood why people want to copy each other you know other people yes copy a project but put your own spin on it and that way it becomes yours and no longer theirs
which gives you that corner look if you know what I mean that one needs to be done a little bit more there looks like a good old worn wall right as you can see we've got that so far now I do have to do this section and I'm going to do it using um, some spackle, uh, some paste and I think I might put a little bit of sand in it now, somewhere in my box of tricks somewhere I have some sand and then a sprig of water and just mix all of that up And then what I want to do is just to get the little bit of colour going in it. I'm going to use some black. And then obviously I'm going to squirt some white in. lighten some of the areas move that out of the way and we're going to get this in here now I don't want glue strands or anything Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that I like the texture it's given and we are going to paint it again to grunge it up a little bit more so there we go yeah I'm fine with that Absolutely fine. And I'll be back shortly with part two.